Hi, my name is Glenn McGovery, I'm Managing Director of the Institute for Catastrophic Loss Reduction. And I just wanted to show you our, uh, our wildfire wall exhibit model. This is a two-sided model. We have bad side and good side. The bad side shows uh, bad practices, which could cause a home to ignite uh, during a wildfire. Uh, so the important uh, parts here are number one, the siding of the home. So we have vinyl siding, which is absolutely horrible in the wellland urban interface, vinyl melts. Uh, it exposes the home to, uh, to ignition. The vinyl also can uh, contaminate soil as well, so it's got that other problem uh, too. Uh, down below here, we have a, a wood patio or a wood deck going right up to the home. That's basically fuel. Uh, we have grass, and if that grass is long and dry, it can convey water, uh, fire right up to the property and flammable vegetation around the home as well. So one of the, the really important messages we want to get across is that meter and a half immediately around the house is absolutely key. If you can get um, uh, material away from the home, flammable material away from the home, whatever that is, uh, you'll be in a much better position. So that's one of the really important messages you want to get across when you're presenting uh, this, uh, this display. So once you've uh, explained that, you can flip it around and then we have the, uh, the good side. And on this good side, rather than a vinyl siding, we have a cement fiberboard product, or a hardy board, it's called, uh, in this case. And uh, one of the things to convey to, to people is that you don't have to paint this product anymore. Once upon a time, you had to, but not, not anymore. It comes in a range of designer colors, and it's really, really formidable against, against wildfire. And it's also great against hail as well. So if you're in uh, a place like southern Alberta, for example, where you get that double whammy of wildfire exposure and hail exposure, uh, this product really uh, behaves very well in both of those circumstances. Um, again, you know, you want to talk about this fuel around the property and getting that fuel away from the house. That meter and a half around the property is key. That's another really important message to get across. That six feet around the property, so important. If you can get flammable material away from that, the home has a much better chance of surviving. And we see homes survive all the time right where the home right next door was lost, but the home that was fire smarted and has these features survived. Um, so we don't have any grass against the property. We don't have any vegetation. We have crushed gravel in this case, no mulch or anything like that. We have cement pavers. Uh, there are different you know, ways of going about this, but um, the point of this is just getting that fuel away from the property. So you really want to stress that when you're presenting this uh, model.